This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV. We're here in New Orleans at the International Workboat Show. We're very pleased to be joined by Bob Clark of Metalcraft. Uh, Bob, I understand we're, we're at the MJP booth, and I understand that you have uh, purchased, or Metalcraft has purchased, the first of the X-Series water jets for a series of new boats. And we're just here to learn about the boats and why the MJP seemed to fit your needs. Well, we uh, the boat is actually, the first boat is for Kuwait Fire Services Directorate. And all with MJP uh, 377, sort of the the precursor mm -hmm. to the X series. Uh, and when MJP said we've got this jet, mm -hmm. and they they spoke to our uh, customer in Kuwait, sent a guy over and explained the whole thing, and said you know we'd like you to be the first. Mm -hmm. And also our agent in Kuwait, Al Boom, mm -hmm. an amazing company in the Middle East, um, are also. Uh, the MJP distributor. Mm -hmm. So we thought that's a perfect way to maintain service. And in a faraway place like that, it is difficult. So between us, Al Boom, and MJP, the, the boats that are already there have run flawlessly for four years. Okay. Amazing. Like, that's hard to do in the Middle East, I can yeah, tell you. Yeah. So when they said MJP, the um, X model, with all of the advances that they had done in it, mm -hmm. our customer really studied it in depth. Mm -hmm. Al Boom was behind it. We know they're behind us. Mm -hmm. And so it was it was kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. And and the price was marginally more than the 377 okay. for advanced technology. So now with uh, Jordan Tilton of MJP. And Jordan, just to start off, why don't you tell us your title and your area of responsibility? So my title with MJP is Program Manager and Aftermarket Sales Manager um, within MJP. So I take care of North, Central, and South America. Mm -hmm. um, have been with the company for quite a few years and have been in the water jet world for quite a few years. So it's, uh, it's, it's a good fit for me. It's a good fit for the company. We've uh, expanded drastically in the last uh, 18 months. So we're looking forward to you know, bigger and better things. Awesome. Well, we understand part of the expansion is the introduction of this new X series, uh, which we've covered in Maritime Reporter. Uh, but for those not in the know, why don't you give us a few technical highlights of the new units? Sure. So the, the X series jet for us kind of combines the best of both worlds from both UltraJet and MJP stainless steel jets. Uh, the companies merged in 2012. So with the, the engineering minds in Sweden, they've decided to come up with um, literally part ultra jet part uh, mjp stainless steel so the x series is actually a mixed flow jet mm -hmm. so the water flow is is over the impeller is different than mm -hmm. than an axial flow ultra jet mm -hmm. so it actually is going to increase uh, speed and efficiency for the end user in a smaller package so the x this this particular jet here um, features a fully stainless steel uh, mixed flow pump so you you are going to eliminate the stainless steel liner that's typically in an ultra jet mm -hmm. and smaller or jets of our competitors, mm -hmm. um, which gives you a tighter tip clearance on the impeller, mm -hmm. all duplex stainless steel. So it's very, very durable. And for this jet uh, going into the Kuwait market is a perfect fit because the salinity of the water is very high, mm -hmm. uh, very low current and very low tide. So okay. it's a perfect fit for over there. We were just talking to Bob Clark uh, about the new order with Metalcraft, which is significant because I understand it's first for the X-Series. From your perspective, what's significant about the order? Uh, and tell us a little bit about the units that are going to be going on those boats. Sure. So it's a, it's a very significant order for us. We've been working with Metalcraft Marine for years and years and years. They're a, they're a fantastic shipbuilder. We really enjoy working with them. Um, when this jet was introduced, it, uh, you know, it made sense to go into these 50-foot Firestorm boats that they have. Uh, to replace the UltraJet 377. Um, what made it very attractive with Metalcraft, MJP, and, and the agent Al Boom Marine over in Kuwait to deliver this to the Kuwaiti Fire Service was we're going to have a smaller envelope jet, but we're actually going to be able to gain about 10% um, efficiency and speed. So we're looking for a 43 knot mm -hmm. um, speed mm -hmm. um, versus about 38, 39 knots from the 377s. Mm -hmm. And these jets will take up to 1,000 horsepower. Okay. And so it's you're getting a smaller jet, but it takes more power, more speed, more fuel efficiency. Jason, it's a busy show. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Been a pleasure. Good Have deal. a good day. Good deal.